ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We are playing a cold open slash demo play of Gravity Rush 2. Now, Gravity Rush is... Uh, it was an early PS Vita release. It used, made amazing use of the camera and of the touchscreen that got translated reasonably well across to a PS4 release after we obviously kind of like almost failed to kind of like support the Vita in any way, shape or form that mattered. So we've got a whole new world to look at of Gravity Rush 2. Now, if you haven't played Gravity Rush 1, this is going to show slightly spoilerific kind of materials and content, but it's not going to be uh, too much of a surprise. This demo is available for everyone to play on the UK PSN. So if you're an American viewer, this is probably one of the few times you might actually want to grab the UK account. We, normally we wouldn't really have stuff that you guys don't have, but in this particular case, we do. We actually have um, a demo of Gravity Rush 2 before you do, which is great. I don't normally see this. You don't normally see this. So let's get a proper look at it. Now, Gravity Rush has two main characters. Uh, the main character really being Cat, the one that you played as in Gravity Rush 1. Uh, and there's also a second character, Raven, that you can see on screen here with the black hair. Now, they announced during the last uh, PlayStation Expo, the last kind of like uh, first day of it, that there was going to be a cat DLC to see her story, but of course you're going to see these two characters interacting anyway throughout the, uh, throughout the game. Now, the main game mechanics of this are um, the gravity control, where you actually are a superhero that can fly. I love the random language in this as well. Out there among the clear blue skies, I was excited to imagine what new adventures await me in the city. Oh, I should actually be doing it with a girl's voice because that's not man's voice doing this. There are two courses available. Which would you prefer? Uh, well, let's go beginner. I don't want to risk it. Boy! We're spinning around. Oh, there he is. This game automatically already looks kind of impressive looking even compared to the uh, Vita and the remastered PS4 version. It just, I don't know what it is, but just it feels smoother in a lot of ways. Up by the gravity storm in Hexville. Mm -hmm. It was sucky to be in Hexville. We've been stuck working the mines for the Banga settlement. I wonder what kind of things are waiting for us in Jurga Paralau. Could be trouble out there waiting for us, Sid. We still have to find a way to get back to Hexville. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see something over there. Okay, time to take a look. That's Jirga Paralau. It's huge. That is pretty damn huge. Um, wow. This, this looks so much bigger. Because the biggest thing that I had with um, the world in the first game was that you were kind of like in a very uh, isolated space. You're on like a single island running around the city. This is a lot of moving random platforms. I am intrigued by this. I want to land on one of these platforms. I want to go somewhere. Um, can I gravity jump? What the hell just happened? Ah, oh, damn it. We just kind of went to the place. Airboats coming into port. Prepare the ropes. That's it. Bring her in nice and slow. Sui sui. Sweet, sweet! Ah, mm -hmm. That looked like fun being able to jump from place to place, but now I'm back in a city. Okay, fine. So, we can jump, camera, left and right to move. Pick up the crystals. Pick up all the crystals. Woo! Crystals! Shift gravity and jump on the wall. Okay, so float. And fall towards that. Wah. And that's gravity. Up the wall we go. Float. And go to here. Ah, oh, nice. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> this game just feels weird just with a gravity control. Alright, it wants me to go over there. Alright, fine. <laughs> All the catches. Alright. Oh. Jump over there. And there we go. Floaty, floaty, floaty fun. Boom. 
And we return to real gravity. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's telling me to just return. Eep! Hello, folks. It was nice landing next to you. I think we're just exploring the city. <laughs> this is the fight tells you to go point to point. Yep, I'm a little off. Boom. Stop before just hitting the ground. <laughs> Stop just in time. That felt good. Felt gratifying. <laughs> Meow. Oh, it's just like it feels like actual kind of like being really responsive of your superpowers, and all your superpowers are really like, I'm falling forever. Kella. Looking good, Gravity Queen. <laughs> Thanks. I think it's time I toured the town. Works for me. It does. It feels. This world feels a little bit richer than the uh, city did in the first game. Just being a terror, knocking people's shit over. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Give me your balloons. It does feel like the camera's a lot closer to your character now, though. I think. Maybe it's just because of this. Oh shit! What's this? Ah, uh, Nemi. Boom! Boom! Eat my dust! Okay. Oh, there's more of them. Ah! To drag nearby objects in a stasis field. Oh, nice. And reticles become homing points. Okay. Boom! And through! And through! Is there anywhere I need to throw? Nope, I got everything. Bum 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 bottom bum 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 bottom. Hey little lady, you were amazing. <laughs> oh, it was nothing. I just kinda react when there's trouble, you know? Well, here's a free skewer, my way of saying thanks. No, thank you. I... No, thank you. I was starving. I was wondering why she was saying no, she didn't want it. Hey, baby, you can want all of my meat. Hey, you little bird brain. <laughs> Give me back my skewer. You little shit. Bizarrest form of flight where you actually are just going like, um, I don't know where I'm going, but uh, I think I'm gonna be going there. Ah, uh, huh. oh, he added the whole damn thing. Fuck you, seagull. I will end you. Is that Bogu down there? Well, let's go and find out. I think that's Vogo. Talking to him might lift my spirits. Who knows, maybe he'll treat me to a new Lagol stewer. Skewer? Stewer? Stew! Head to the pier! Oh! Falling, 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 falling. Beep! Ow. <laughs> what? Forbidden cargo? Alright. There had to be there. I must have lost count. Six, six seven. Eight. Eight. 
Nine. Which? Now there's more? That's impossible. Huh? But what do you think you're doing? Can't you see I'm busy? Isn't that the aura I busted my butt to collect? After all my hard work, I want to know where it's they're taking it. Uh, this is the last thing I needed. Maybe if I count one more time. Bogo! Bogo son! What's taking so long? Oh, uh, I'm just going over the delivery one last time. It'll be done in a jiffy, I swear! Hmm, you'd better be. If you're late, there are plenty of traders who can take your place. Of course. Uh, I don't get it. How'd they go missing? What do I do? How'd what go missing? Well, uh... Alright, you, you promised to keep a secret. Okay! <gasps> what? Extra episode! Yay! I'm liking the storyline elements. I always loved the way the comics were done in the original uh, video game. Although, admittedly, whenever you had the tilt controls in the uh, Vita, you could actually like look around, scroll around the, the image to see extra stuff. You're missing cargo, but today's the delivery day! Don't I know it? Oh boy, and word gets out about that, I've got st well, I've got stored in there. Wait, we have you. What have you gotten stored in there? Uh, uh well, uh, nothing special, but. Please, you've got to get those grades back for me. I heard there were some troublemakers hanging around in the area. I'll, be I'll bet it's their doing. Troublemakers? What kind of troublemakers? The kind that make trouble, like that guy over there. Oh! That's a thief! He's getting away! Oh! I'm liking the flying! I'm liking the flying! Oh shit! I'm gonna fall! Hey! Easily done! A lion mark? That's Vogo's cargo! Giselle. I'm here to get back what you took from us! Huh? You a Vogo's enforcer or something? Huh? Something if I have to be. Wait, what's that smell? It's, uh... It's awful. Huh? huh? Uh, what the heck is that? Oh, he brought some of these motherfuckers with him? That was a bad move. Boom! 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 There's more of them! Oh! Gravity kick! Boom! Boom! You are dead! Boom! That was actually quite effective. Uh oh. Um. Boom! 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 Okay. Boom! Oh yeah! I'm loving the actual like uh, special effects. Uh oh. That thing looks big. Boom! 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 boom. Uh oh. Oh, I got him! <laughs> yeah. Although I managed to find Vogo's missing cargo, it got destroyed in the fight with the Navi. Your appearance with Vogo's cargo was too much to chalk up to coincidence and was important of things to come. Hey! That was an action-packed, fun little uh, demo experience. Very, very directed. Um, I imagine that their, the expert course probably gives you a little bit more variety and control over what was going on. But obviously it gives you an idea of what the gameplay in Gravity Rush is like. This is like That was fun, action-packed. Um, it felt like there was actually a little bit of progress going on. It meant to be leading towards the story. Gravity Rush 1 was a really fun game. But it had a very strong sense of um, faffing about, really. Like a, a preamble to actually getting to a story. Which I imagine this is probably going to actually follow through and fill out really well. 
So, um, yeah, I highly recommend picking up Gravity Fall, or Gravity, Ru Gravity Fall, Gravity Rush 1, um, on the PSN, or on PS4, or on PS Vita. I highly recommend on the PS Vita if you are a PS Vita user. It was one of those games that we got for free on PS Plus a long time ago, and is reasonably cheap to pick up. Uh, it's, it's just a very, very, it's an old game, it's a very early game for the PS Vita. But the um, the PS4 version, if you don't have the PS Vita, is absolutely fine to play. It's good fun to play. Not a long experience, but a fun experience. We do have it here, and I would love to play through it for you guys here on the channel. So if you'd be interested in that, make sure to actually comment underneath to say that you would like to see more of this game. Because I'd happily play through Gravity Rush again for you guys, and only for you guys. Um, otherwise, I'd be waiting until Gravity Rush 2 comes out. Again, you can of course pick up this demo in the UK PSN store for absolutely nothing. I recommend to all you Americans who haven't got a chance to play Gravity Rush at all yet, check out the demo on the UK store. See if the gameplay, the mechanics of the gravity attacks and stuff are fun to you. Feel like they're actually like, um, do, do they fit your niche for like a superhero movie or superhero game? This is actually a, this is, this, this I actually enjoy this much more than say like the Infamous series. It just, it's it got a cutesy kind of anime vibe to it. It's got an interesting lead character. I recommend it to anyone to give it a try. So, uh, yeah, of course, uh, like I said, it's cheap uh, during this Christmas and January seal, so you can pick it up there, or you can pick it up in your local store. So, yes, this has been Gravity Rush 2 from the PSN demos list. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, if you liked what you saw and liked my gameplay and like me talking about it and you want to know more and see more stuff than I do, then what you can do is hit the subscribe button up here. That'll actually allow you to subscribe and see all the stuff as it comes out. And over on this side here, there is videos and links to other stuff that I've done over the last few while. Wow, I went really under focus there. But you can actually see stuff over in these videos that you can click at any time to see any more. So, um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye!